Are you someone who is looking to secure your financial future and possibly have a little bit of money on the side and want to grow a nest egg so that later in life, when you're done working, when you want to relax and you just want security in your life, you can have something to sustain you that you've saved for, that you have invested. There's a lot of people who I think are really wanting to learn more and more of how to grow a nest egg for later in life. I'm certainly doing that. On Spearlift, we talk about a lot of topics mainly around focusing on spirituality, motivation, inspiration, health and nutrition. Because since starting this channel, I've, you know, it was out of the whole situation that happened during the pandemic 2020. And I just felt I wanted to help as many people relieve certain types of anxiety, depression that they face each and every day. And the idea and the nature of Spearlift came out of that situation, you know. Um, And there are many ways in which we're always trying to seek answers for many things that we have in this journey of life. That's why Spearlift is referred to as a journey to a better you. And we face so many questions, doubts, Sometimes we just feel in a rut with situations like that. We just feel like we can't get into our control. And part of that has to do with money as well. It seriously has to do with money. Money is really part of issues that we face each and every day that we're trying to trying to get our, I don't want to say really control around, but we, we're, we face problems with it because we may not be handling it as well as we want to. But then maybe once we get a grasp of what we're actually doing with our money, we want to know how we can really put it away and use it as a, as a way of securing something for a rainy day, for an emergency situation, or for actual future self. So I believe it's something that has to be integral to want to speak about and share my opinion on so that maybe you can go away and do your own. I really encourage you to do your own research, figure out what's best for you, but just putting on the table, at least an idea of which you can then figure out what works for you and what doesn't. That's all I'm trying to do here. I'm not trying to tell anyone to do anything or, you know, I'm not a certified expert when it comes to finance or anything like that. I'm just trying to plant a seed and you go and do your own research. So, you know, there's a lot of people in 2021 who are trying to invest as a beginner, who are looking into Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, Dogecoin, all these type of ideas of that seem trendy in a way, but I I really encourage you, if you really want to invest in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Uh, stocks in general, right? Do your own research. Also seek out a good certified financial planner, right? And figure out what is really, see what they say. And really it's kind of tricky because I think that industry is always, you know, not all the time, but I think in certain situations, they're just really trying to sell you on certain types of products or services, but do research, right? There are really good you know, options out there. And, you know, I know some good certified financial planners that can give you good insight on where you want to go with your own financial plan in your life. And if you're interested in that, comment below and let me know. That would be awesome. And I'll most definitely help you out. Um, but if you want to invest in something like Bitcoin, you know, there's different platforms out there that do offer that kind of thing. But understand, you know, if you invest in these things that people are seemingly trending onto, which some, ha- you know, some people would agree something like Bitcoin does have value, true value, and is a safe harbor against fiat currency, you know, 
um, that seems to be dwindling because of, you know, I don't want to get too overly financial jargon here, but you know, with mass print of money, you know, the fiat currency being diminished more and more seems like, um, interest rates being at the level that they are at, there's just a lot of, there's a lot of uncertainty people feel people are really diversifying more and more in let's say cryptocurrencies but you got to really understand how that works and how they're really valued truly to see if they're the right thing for you again do your own research and see if it's the right thing for you but in general people seem to be getting interested in investing cryptocurrency in bitcoin in dogecoin and all these cryptocurrencies also diversifying their assets, their way of safe harboring against, you know, situations that we're facing globally. I mean, people are becoming diverse, you know, certain people not, it's not able to do so much in every country, but people are seemingly being able to grow their own food in certain capacities, even in very densely populated urban dwellings, like where I am in Mexico city that seems to be happening uh food you know there's a, really this minimalist movement with people being on the road getting the tiny houses which i'm a big fan of but it's always the toilet issue that you know the plumbing issue that i worry about um there seems to be that going on there seems to be people um really interested as well in you know different ways to use energy so, you know solar as well and comment below what what ways do you see how you want to secure your situation now maybe in the medium term long term for your own situation right is it are you focused on certain you know types of investments that you think that will really safe harbor you for a rainy day um that are outside let's say the traditional ETF way of investing, which all these companies like M1 and Betterment, you know, ones that more kind of robo investing, set and forget, seem to be really, really catching on to the younger generation right now. Is that something that interests you? What, what sort of ways do you see and understand protecting your family, your personal situation for right now and for the future because there's a lot happening in the world there's a lot changing so quickly since 2020 so it'd be interesting to know comment below is something like bitcoin dogecoin all these cryptocurrencies that's is that something that you personally research and you're like oh this is a great idea this this would work for myself my family other people you know it'd be great to know your insight about that again and spirit for trying to just find the best ways, the best ways really to face life's issues on this journey of life in the, in, I don't want to say like having an actual solution per se, but seeing everything that's laid on the table and understanding what's really best for you and what you can share to someone else and have them see if it's good for them or maybe they'll come up with their own idea, you know, just from what you've already suggested. So comment below. This is about sharing. This is about peaking curiosity. It would be great to know. We'll see you all in the next fair chat. Take care, everyone.